Hi, we are going to talk about dilutions and cereal dilutions. I will also show you how to prepare, how to prepare a, uh, a dilution. Okay, a dilution. This is when you have a concentrated substance, a solution, and you need a, a lower concentration. Um, here's your example. We need 250 mils of a one molar sodium hydroxide, but you're given one liter of two molar. This is a larger concentration. There's a formula for this, and I recommend you memorize this formula. It's the dilution formula. Here it is. M1V1 equals M2V2. M stands for molarity. V stands for volume. Your key is simply labeling. That's the hardest thing on this is just to label. You get your labeling correct, you're going to be fine. Um, so we want to end with uh, oh, 250 mils of a one molar solution. That is going to be my M2V2. I want to end with a molarity of one, and I want to end with a volume of 250 mils. Now, what do I have to begin with? I have a molarity of two. Now, what you and I are looking for is, oops, excuse me, that's a one. That's the beginning. What we're looking for is the initial volume. We're going to take a small amount of that two molar and add water to it, and that will dilute it to a one molar. So the question is, well, how much do I need? I know that I have this whole liter. I don't need that much. How much do I need? What small amount do I need so that when I add water to it, it will end at a one molar solution? So this is our unknown right here. That's what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and solve for V1. So we've got M1V1 equals M2V2. Divide both sides by M1. And that's going to give us V1, that's what I'm looking for, equals the final molarity times the final volume divided by that initial molarity. Now we just plug everything in. So the volume equals, okay, M2, one molar times the 250 mils, ooh, it's a good time to bring this up. Um, you will recall that the unit for molarity is moles per liter. Um, so we always have to deal with liters, except for with the dilution formula. And here's the reason why. Those units, as long as they're the same, they'll cancel. So you can use mils or liters. Um, and really, only, only time that I want you to really feel comfortable using mils or liters. So I can leave this as mils divided by my initial, which is two molar. Look at the units with me here. Molarity cancels, and we are going to be left with mils. Great. I will know the volume that I have to add in mils. Um, so it'll be one times 250 divided by two is going to be give us 125 mils, 125 mils. So this is how you do it. You could use a burette. Um, you'd have to have a large burette um, to deliver 125 mils. Most likely you'd use a graduated cylinder. Um, so get a graduated cylinder, you're going to measure 250 mils. Now this is how I always want you to prepare dilutions. You first put in water, okay? Small amount of water. So I would put in maybe about 100 mils of water. You always have water in your volumetric first, and then you add the solution that's being diluted to it. And here's the reason why. Oftentimes it's exothermic. Um, and so you need this water in here to disperse and absorb that energy. If I were to do it the other way, if I were to put the 125 mils of the sodium hydroxide in here first, or an acid, whatever the solution is, and then add water, it pops. It's so exothermic, it sprays, and you don't want to get burned. You don't want anything to splash on you. So you always put the water first, cardinal rule, and then you add the solution to it. So I put about 100 mils in here, measure out in a volumetric flask my 125 mils of sodium hydroxide, the two molar, pour it in, and then I would continue adding distilled water. Remember at the very last, I use a dropper to get it right to the meniscus, and we just diluted it. I took that 125 mils of the two molar, added water to it, and we diluted it now to one. It's going to be one molarity, one mole of um, sodium hydroxide 
for every liter, and that would be our ratio. Okay, so there's a basic dilution. Now, we have a trick in chemistry. It's called a serial dilution. Let's remember this information right here. We use a serial dilution when we want to get really small molarities. Now remember, molarity is just moles per liter. We will get to a point that the molarities are so small that it's hard to measure out the actual solute to such a small mass. And so our trick is what's called serial dilutions. A serial dilution is just a fancy way of doing a dilution of a dilution. Uh, so serial dilution. Serial dilution. This is simply a dilution of a dilution. So we did a dilution right here. This would be my first dilution. Uh, this, I don't need that anymore. I'm done with that. Uh, I have now 250 mils of a one molar sodium hydroxide. So a serial dilution would mean I take this and that becomes my new. That becomes the M1 and the V1. And I want a new concentration. Let's say that I want 250 mils of a 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide. I mean, you could get down to really small, like um, 0.005 molar. Um, wow, super tiny. Um, so this would be my volume, sorry, my V2. I want to end with 250 mils. I want to end M2 with a molarity of uh, 0.5. This up here would become my new molarity, my M1. And the question is, well, how much do I need of that? Okay, what volume do I need of that one molar that when I add water to it, up to a final volume of 250 mils, it gives me a final concentration of 0.5. Um, so the formula is going to be just like what uh, we had done before, where the uh, final, uh, M2 is going to be the see, M1 V1 divided by M2. So now we can just plug in. I'll do it down here for you. So this volume, oh, so, I'm so sorry. I know the V2. I thought, you know, for a second, I thought I was doing it backwards. <laughs> and I was. All right, we want to know the initial volume. So you got M2 V2 divided by M1. That looks better. And a little side note, it honestly doesn't matter what you label as your one or your two, as long as you're consistent that what you um, are ending with gets a label and what you're beginning with gets the label. Okay, um, here we go. So that volume that I need of this right here, okay? I have the 250 mils right here of the one molar, I just made that. I want to know how much I need of that to produce 0.5 molar solution. I want to end with the 250 mils and my molarity right now is one molar. It's one molar. Um, so we're going to multiply and V1 again is going to equal 125 mils. Notice molarity cancels and mils left over. So I then take this dilution that I just made. From here, I'd measure out into a graduated cylinder at 125 mils, get a second volumetric flask, and do the same thing. Put a little bit of water in it, add the 125 mils of that dilution, this, and then fill it to volume with water. And wow, that second volumetric is now going to have a concentration of 0.5 molar. Uh, so if you're in the lab, you have to do a serial dilution. You do one dilution. That dilution that you've made now becomes your stock solution to do a second dilution. You take a little bit of the solution out of here, you dilute it, and you can keep going, keep going, and do serial dilution, serial dilution to get small molarities. Okay, nice dilutions. Memorize that formula. You'll be good to go. Have a great day.